Hey guys, it's Melanie. Welcome back. I hope your Tuesday's off to a great start. Heck, I hope your May is off to a great start. That's right, we're in May. Uh, but I have my April beauty empties to share with you guys today. I've got my bucket of trash, which I proudly uh, squirrel away in this closet over here because Craig thinks I'm insane. Um, he just does not understand the concept of like hoarding my trash for an entire month. Um, he's like, I can just take that out to the recycling bin if you would like. And I'm always like, please don't. <laughs> I have to share my thoughts with people. So um, anyway, uh, I have a lot of things in here. And uh, per usual, these items, this hair care products, makeup products, skincare, these have all been open for varying degrees of time. I may have started one of these products in April and finished it in the month of April, but the vast majority of things that you're seeing in here have been open for three months, six months, a year, um, and I just happened to finally finish them up, and now I'm gonna tell you guys my final thoughts. So I'm gonna let you know whether these products were worth splurging on, if they're more expensive, whether they worked, um, how, how they worked with my particular skin type, hair type, all that fun stuff. And I will let you guys know, like when I talk about the hair stuff, what my hair type is, I'll let you know about my skin type when we talk about skincare. Um, and as always, I will link everything in the description box down below. One of the things that I think is really important to do as a responsible consumer is just go read up about ingredients, go read up other people's reviews. Um, you know, there's lots of information out there about a lot of different products. And just because something works for me doesn't mean it will necessarily work for you. You have to figure out what works for you. It might be that we have a completely different skin type. We might have completely different hair types. We might have completely different preferences. So that's why I always link everything. Go read up about these products. If you feel like investing in them, great. If you don't, that's fine too. There's the, the world is our oyster when it comes to products these days, right? Honestly, I feel like there's almost too much. <laughs> and this coming from the lady who loves, I crave variety. I love it. I love using a different shampoo and conditioner every single day. Sometimes I will use the same one for like a week or two weeks in a row. Sometimes I will use a different one every single day. It just depends. It just depends on whatever floats my boat. So you guys, let's get into it without further ado. I'm gonna start with maybe grabbing the hair care products first before we get into it, my hair type. Okay, so you can see my hair is gray. Also, there is a little bit of my delicious dishwater blonde left in the back here. No, I do not dye my hair this way. I know a lot of you assume that I do. I do not. Uh, this is just my bad genetics. <laughs> That's what this is, you guys. I went gray very early in life. Um, I started going gray at 25 and covered it up for years and years by just bleaching my hair over and over again. And um, finally, by the time I got to my mid thirties, I was like, yeah, I don't wanna do this anymore. And so I just stopped and I just let my hair grow into what it is now. And I love it. I'm very happy with it. Is it everybody's taste? No. Do I care what other, if people don't like it? No, I don't care. If you don't like it, that's fine. <laughs> Don't let your hair go gray. If you don't if you don't like gray hair, you don't have to have gray hair. I love my gray hair and I'm gonna rock it for the rest of my life. And I look forward to the different transitions that it's gonna go through. Cause it has gone through a lot of transitions. I'm 44 now, by the way. So over the last like many moons that I have not been coloring my hair, it's changed quite a bit. Like sometimes it looks a little bit whiter. Sometimes for whatever reason, the like pewter that's running through it looks a little bit more steely. Um, yeah, I don't know, I like it. I like my hair. I'm a big fan. But it is very fine, it is very thin, and despite the fact that now it's gray. The hair texture hasn't changed at all. I was hoping, and I know some of you are gonna be like, why would you wish for that? But I was hoping the texture would change to maybe a slightly more coarse texture because I thought like, oh, maybe that will hair give my hair a little bit more body or volume. Uh, no such luck. It is as like fine and thin and wispy and you know, I still only have 57 strands of hair. So grass is always greener on the other side, I'm aware. No need to point that out. Okay, let's talk styling products for this fine thin hair of mine. I love the Kenra products. If you have never thought to check out their styling products, I have really had great luck with pretty much everything that I've tried from the Kenra styling line. 
Um, I've never really been a huge fan of their shampoos and conditioners, but their styling products are top notch, you guys. And I think the price point is quite fair. I would call Kenra more of like um, a mid range brand in terms of price. Like it's not, you know, as expensive as maybe like the Orbe or the Virtue or some of those other hair care lines, um, Purology or whatever, but. It's also not like drugstore prices necessarily, but it's sold at Ulta and Ulta frequently has hair events and a lot of times the Kenra products are included. So I think you can get them for even less than, you know, what the retail price is. Anyway, let's talk about these two things here. The Kenra Platinum Thickening Mousse. This is their density pumping mousse. My favorite mousse ever. Like this is it. If I want larger, more substantial hair, this is the mousse I go for. It's fabulous. I've gone through many bottles of it. I have two backups in my little closet over here. Um, fabulous, 10 out of 10 would recommend. Um, another thing that I tried, I think for the first time, is the Kenra Dry Volume Burst. I don't remember having this before. I had tried another volumizing uh, product from the Andrew Fitzsimmons line. It was like a volumizing spray. And I was actually, I had this one in my hand and then I saw the Andrew Fitzsimmons and that one was I think like four or $5 cheaper. And I was like, oh, maybe I can get a less expensive brand to recommend. You guys, that product sucked. <laughs> didn't care for it. At least it didn't work for me. I don't wanna, I can't say it's a sucky product. Just cause it doesn't work for me, doesn't mean it's a sucky product, right? Like it just didn't work for me. This, however, is what I should have walked out the store with <laughs> that day instead of trying the Andrew Fitzsimmons. So after I was done with that one, I went back and did end up getting this. Now, did I get nine times the volume? No, this is like a ridiculous claim, but it does give my hair a lot more volume, a lot more body, just makes it look a lot more substantial. I will absolutely be repurchasing this. Smells good, works great. It's kind of like a cross between almost like a dry shampoo and a really soft, light hold hairspray. I feel like that is what this comes across as to me when I'm applying it. Like the feel of it, how it works for me, it's kind of like a dry shampoo and a light hold hairspray. So in one, I love it. This is great. If you've never tried it, go for it. Okay, things that are a lot more expensive, but man, do I love the Virtue Hair Care line. Um, I don't remember, where did I buy these? Probably Ulta. Ulta sells this brand, Sephora. Um, I've purchased it, uh, it from Sephora, from Ulta, and even from Skin Store. It's whoever gives me the coupon <laughs> that will apply <laughs> to bring the price of these down just a little bit. Um, this is the Virtue Flourish Conditioner for thinning hair and the Virtue Flourish Shampoo for thinning hair. Do I have thinning hair? Not necessarily. I just have thin, fine hair. Um, this is supposed to detoxify, volume volumize and repair the shampoo and this conditioner is supposed to nourish thicken and detangle does it do all of those things yes does it do it while smelling really good yes do i think these are worth it for me yes absolutely i do wish and someone's probably going to be like yeah they actually do make it in the larger sizes now but last time i looked they did not um i would like to purchase these in their like 16 ounce sizes which is they don't do liters or anything but they do like a, it's like a 16.9 ounce or something so that's what i prefer to purchase purchase from virtue i feel like i don't know the products are really concentrated and those sizes last me forever but this I, I cannot wait for this to come out in the larger sizes because I really had a good experience with this and want more. I want more. Would I buy it in these sizes again? Yeah, probably. Probably, but I would like a larger size. <laughs> okay, something that is more affordable that would be fantastic for those of you that have really thick or dry hair. You should check this out. This is the Pacifica Cocoa Peptide Damage Care Conditioner with biomimetric peptides and coconut milk. This is for dry and damaged hair. So for me, this was a little bit too heavy to use on my roots. Um, so I focus this one mostly like kind of like mid shaft here to my ends. Um, the shampoo, however, I would, you know, use all over. I have the shampoo in the shower as well. And in full disclosure, this particular product was sent to me as PR. None of these other things that I've shown yet. I will let you guys know what is PR and what isn't. So um, these other things I purchased myself. However, Pacifica sent me this. So um, I really like this product a lot, but would I repurchase it? I'm not sure that I would because like I said, I cannot use this conditioner near my scalp and I do like to work the conditioner 
car all the way up um but it was just a little bit too heavy for you know like my 57 strands of hair but if you have thick curly more coarse hair you should look into this this is really great and it's affordable and hey pacific Pacifica is available at Ulta and you can use those $3.50 or $5 off coupons that they always have available. Yeah, if you're not using those coupons on the drugstore side, every time you go, you should. They're like they're in your app. Do you have the Ulta app? You should have that. Okay, let's talk the Tree Hut Strawberry Foaming Gel Wash. Okay, I liked this, but as far as strawberry scents go, I think I actually like the strawberry scent from the body shop better. They're, they're quite similar. Um, but this, I think, I mean, it's, it's great. Like it's a great strawberry scent. It's not a drying body wash. Um, I was very excited to see, uh, tree hut finally come out with some body washes. I use their scrubs. I love their scrubs. We're going to talk about a scrub here in a second, but, um, yeah, I, this was great. Didn't dry my skin out. Um, I used it to shave my legs. It foams up really nicely. I found it to be pretty gentle, but I think I, I do think that I like the strawberry fragrance from the body shop a little bit better. So, but again, they are similar. So if you like the body shop fragrance and you want to try one of the scents from tree hut, I, this would be a good one to check out. I think it's worth checking out. But I like that it's the the, um, the body shop one is a little bit more of like a sweeter candied strawberry scent. This one isn't quite as actually sweet as I expected it to be. I love sugar. I really do. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about a tree hut scrub that was a little bit of a womp womp for me. Not in the fact that it didn't perform like all of this tree hut scrubs do, which is just fantastically. They exfoliate dead skin cells beautifully. I love to use these scrubs right before shaving my legs to um, help with uh, just getting rid of the extra skin cells that might be hanging on so that they're not clogging up my razor. I find that I get a better shave that way, a closer shave, a longer lasting shave if I exfoliate first. So I gently exfoliate my legs um, and this works great for that. However, this frosted sugar cookie scent from the holidays, uh, I'm pretty sure I ordered this online because if I had smelled this in store, I don't think I would have gotten it. It's incredibly light. It's almost kind of unscented. So by the way, I currently have their new peach and the new happy birthday scent. Ooh, I will link both down below because, oh man, if you are looking for some great tree hut scents that are highly fragranced and delicious, may I recommend those two? Um, if this one comes back, the frosted sugar cookie, oh, I don't know, unless they increase the fragrance in this, I'm not, I don't think I would get this one again. Um, okay, here is a Craig product. <laughs> Um, this is the Scentworks Winter Sugared Apple, and it took me a long time to figure out what this fragrance reminds me of. I don't even think you can get this one. This was around for the holidays. Anyway, Craig liked it. Um, these are pretty hydrating body washes. They're a little bit more of like a creamy lather. Um, this, it took me a long time, but it's kind of a little similar to the Country Apple from uh, Bath & Body Works back in the day. That was one of my favorite scents besides the warm vanilla sugar and the brown sugar and fig. Man. I love me some country apple and this is quite similar to that it's a very like fresh crisp apple scent um i liked it smelled good on craig and um yeah he this guy does not i could put like anything in the shower for him and he'd be like great a shampoo doesn't care um so it's nice because sometimes i will give him things to finish that you know maybe i'm over all right let's go back to some hair stuff real quick Okay, the R and Co Dallas Thickening Spray. I really like this. This was fantastic. Um, where did I buy this? I think it was Durham store, maybe skin store. I have no idea. Anyway, I really like this a lot. This was a wonderful thickening spray. Um, worked great with the Kenra Mousse. Um, worked great with a lot of other hair care products that I use and had a nice fragrance to it, right? Yeah, I like the smell. Kind of perfumey but nice, uh, not overly fragranced, I don't think. And it didn't make my hair stiff or crunchy. Um, by the time that I was done blow drying, my hair always had some nice oomph to it. So yeah, it's, this is good. I've been curious about the R Co uh, line of products for quite some time and decided to start with that. And what else did I get? I feel like I bought, oh yeah, there was a shampoo and a conditioner, right? I think it was like a hydrating shampoo and conditioner that I got. Anyway, great, love that. You should try it if you have the same hair type as me. 
Okay, this lotion was open forever. This is the CO Bigelow Coconut Body Lotion. And um, believe me, I got out as much as I could. Uh, Craig was actually using this as a um, lotion every night. I just put this next to his bedstand and he used it and I always like the way this smells on him. Mm, this has a really nice, like warm, nutty coconut scent. Really, really beautiful. Very hydrating. Craig liked this as a hand cream. I would always use this as like a lotion on my legs after showering as well. Just smelled really, really good. And it was hydrating and not too thick and greasy. Like it absorbs very quickly. So if you've never tried the Seal Bigelow coconut scent, you should. It's, it would be great for the summertime. And we all know how I'm feeling about the coconut scents these days. I love them. Speaking of scents, look what I have. I have another perfume in my empties. This is why I love getting these travel sizes because I finish them. <laughs> I can actually finish this. Actually, I think that I might have a couple of perfume empties of some larger bottles next month. Um, I've been dedicating myself to finishing a few of my fragrances. Um, anyway, this is the Floral Street Wild Vanilla Orchid. I will be purchasing the full size of this. <laughs> Um, I shouldn't because I have like 75 perfumes, but man, this is good. If you love a warm, cozy, um, floral vanilla, soft floral vanilla, this is it. It's so good. You guys, I've already done an in-depth perfume review on that. Um, you can look that up on my channel. It's delightful. Um, I had this in my shower. So the pharmacy clearly clean makeup melt away cleansing balm. So this is their completely unscented, like there is no smell to this makeup cleansing balm. Honestly, I prefer the original. I think this one is nice, but again, I like fragrance. So, and I feel like almost like the original works a little bit better on removing mascara than this one does. But this one does do a pretty good job of getting rid of especially like the SPF, the makeup, things like that. But for some reason it struggles a little bit with my mascara and I don't use waterproof mascara. So I'm not sure that I would get this one again, um, but it, it was nice. It is a nice product. I think I just prefer the original. I love this. This is so good. Um, this is the Isn't Tree uh, Hyaluronic Acid Aqua Gel Cream. Okay, I use this for a few different things. First of all, I used it as a hydrator for my face, my neck, and my chest. But also, um, this by the way has five different types of hyaluronic acid. It absorbs quickly. It's a hydrating gel texture. This is a fabulous product, you guys. I also would use this on my eczema. And this immediately, for whatever reason, would like calm like a flare up almost instantly like the skin would look significantly less red and irritated and flaky and dry and just felt soothed so this was also a great product for my eczema uh currently i only have eczema patches on my upper arms here um thankfully not on wood uh, i don't really deal with it a whole lot of other places on my body who knows that could change because my body loves doing all sorts of weird things these days but yeah, I need to get another one of these. I actually placed an entire order on Yes Style just with the intention of making sure that I got a backup of this. Did I put a backup of this in my cart before checking out? Absolutely not. So the next time that I make a Korean skincare order, this will definitely be going in. Um, I can also just order a tube of it off of Amazon, but I don't know. I like being able to purchase like multiple things at once and then it's just done. But yeah, anyway, it'll probably be another month or two before I put in another Yes Style order, but I will certainly be getting another one of these. That's fabulous. Love it. Speaking of must have for me, here is a big bottle of, bottle, tube. This is a big tube of Tretinoin that I have flattened the life out of. Um, this is my uh, Retin-A crema, 0.05%. <laughs> um, this, came from Mexico, a uh, little tip. If you, ha if you are traveling to Mexico or if a friend is, um, ask them to stop by one of the pharmacies. And um, yeah, like you can get this at the pharmacies down there, I think for like $17 a tube. I think that's the most that I've ever paid. So um, I haven't traveled there myself, but Craig went recently. <laughs> of course he brought me back a couple tubes. 
and my brother went not long ago and he brought me back some stuff as well so yeah anyway um that's an option but there are also lots uh, there are a bajillion of those like skincare companies now that have uh, dermatologists on staff like curology agency all of those things you can get tretinoin through them um i don't do that because uh this is cheaper <laughs> way cheaper um and yeah i just prefer straight up tretinoin because i use a lot of other stuff and I, I don't need anything compounded for me the only thing that i do get compounded through the skin medicinals which is the compounding pharmacy that my dermatologist uses um i prefer to work with them because that's what my dermatologist uses and i like him <laughs> so uh, and it was quite affordable to get the hydroquinone through them so i have my hydroquinone done through a compounding pharmacy and that helps my melasma on my forehead immensely the tretinoin ironically enough even though i have tretinoin also in my hydroquinone formula um tretinoin alone has never done anything for my melasma but uh hydroquinone does do, do your research though because there's a lot of people that don't like hydroquinone so Okay, finished another SPF. Finally finished this bad boy. This is the My Shell Dermaceuticals Sun Shield Liquid SPF 50. This is in the shade light. I will tell you, I do think that they have redone the packaging on this to now have a pump, which I think is really quite helpful because one, this like this cracked on me and I don't like this dropper format. Um, yeah. So I got pretty much everything out of here. Could I take one of those like spatulas and, you know, scrape the last little bit that you're seeing like at the top here and, you know, like a little bit left at the bottom? Yeah, but also this technically did expire in January. So I feel like I got what I needed to out of this. I'm happy to have finished it. I will repurchase it. It is a great higher uh, SPF. So this actually has an SPF of 50 and it is zinc oxide which is my personal favorite so um, i will purchase this again and i might actually do that here in like the next week or two because i really loved having this especially for days uh you know like we've had recently here in oregon where it's we're basically in summer not quite yet not fully but we will be in full-on like 90 degree heat and just straight sun for like weeks and weeks on end soon enough Clearly, I'm not excited about it, but I do wear higher SPF when I am outside um, versus like just my everyday, like when I'm not leaving the house, like this is the SPF that I wear, the Paula's Choice Resist Super Light um, Daily Rival Events. Speaking of Paula's Choice, the clinical uh, niacinamide 20% treatment, uh, holy grail, yeah, went through another one of these and I love it and I will never be without it. I'm currently testing a product from Dr. Barbara Strum. It is one of their serums, and it was sent to me in PR. Um, that has, uh, I believe it has niacinamide in it. So anyway, I did not open a new bottle quite yet because I'm using that way expensive and probably way overpriced serum. Um, I do like what it's doing for my skin so far, but I am kind of missing this. Like this has just become such a part of my morning routine that I just, like when I don't put it on, I get bummed. Like I just feel like I'm missing something. That has made the biggest impact on my pores ever. Game changer. If you deal with enlarged pores, look into niacinamide. Um, some people uh, get easily irritated by the higher percentage of niacinamide. I don't, I love it, my skin loves it. Um, you might want to start out with maybe like 5%, 10%, somewhere around there. Paula's Choice does offer a 10%, and that's where I started with niacinamide is with Paula's Choice, and it's great. I love it. Ooh, we have the Biosense Squalane Omega Repair Cream. All done. Um, I really like this. This was a great moisturizer. I wanted to finish this before the summertime because this is quite hydrating and not something that I need during the summer months, and I didn't want to keep it around until... The late fall again so just slathered myself my face my neck my chest in it uh pretty much most nights and finished it up and i loved it this is a great product do you need a super expensive moisturizer like this no probably not but i liked it um speaking of uh expensive things this came in i'm pretty sure this came in like one of those skin store holiday edit boxes which those are fantastic every year those come out 
you should get them. They're fabulous. Lots of good stuff in there. But this is the Dr. Babar Lifting X Lifting RX uh, eye cream for the day. Um, okay, so I mean, this was fine. This is a nice eye cream, but did I notice any dramatic lifting? No, but also am I, like are my, are things drooping underneath here necessarily? No, but it was just a nice hydrating eye cream. I felt like it made my under eyes look really nice. Uh, my makeup sat well over top of it. And yeah, would I buy it again though? No, probably not. <laughs> I have a lot of eye creams. Um, I don't know. This is nice. I guess if you want to check it out, it's nice. Um, let's do a couple of um, mascaras. Oh my gosh, I've been talking for such a long time. We're almost done, you guys. Uh, Pacifica Activist Volume Volume and Curl Mascara. Okay, so this this was also sent by Pacifica. I didn't like this. <laughs> I actually tried to pawn it off on Stella, and even Stella was like, "This makes my lashes clumpy," and that's what I found. This made my lashes really clumpy. I have actually like purchased this in the past and didn't really love what it did for my lashes and then when they sent it in PR I was like oh maybe I'll try it again maybe my tube was old or something was wrong with the formula and then I I don't know it's just it's the formula that's not for me so um not a, not a mascara I would tell you to go buy um however I did really like the blink lash extension tubing mascara you can find blink at Sephora. Um, this one was great. Now the volumizing one got clumpy on me pretty fast. However, this one lasted like a full eight weeks very easily. Um, in fact, I think I had this a little bit longer than eight weeks and finally was like, okay, I know it's time. She's got to go. I replace my mascara every six to eight weeks. Um, so I don't know. I'm big on like, I'm really afraid of like getting an eye infection. This is something that I'm telling stuff. <laughs> let's replace your mascara like every six to eight weeks like I've gotten her into a good habit in terms of doing that and washing her makeup brushes and things like that because man there's a lot of stuff that can go horribly wrong if you get bacteria into one of those tubes all right Laura Geller balance and brighten in fair this is my powder foundation of choice um, you can see here this is just the terracotta pan that the product is baked on I, oh, sorry, buddy. Oh, that just landed on you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> he just got attacked with the Seal Bigelow lotion. <laughs> Poor guy. Okay, um, where was I? Oh, yes, I love this. This is my powder foundation of choice. Um, I have tons of backups, and here's a new one that I opened as soon as I finished this one. I love it. It's the best. I also finished the Artist Couture Creme Brulee um multi-use beauty powder i use this as a setting powder you can well i don't know why i'm showing you that that's empty um yeah i really like this this was fantastic i will say there was like a little tiny ring around the outside so i broke that out and just popped it into this Lorac vanilla powder that i have here so i just like broke it up and added it into the top portion here and so anyway great color I think this is a great product. If you've never tried anything from Artist Couture, I had a good experience with this. Um, and then I also have a one of my Clarisonic brush heads. I have a lot of brush heads because I bought a bunch. When Clarisonic went under, I still love my Clarisonic. Um, I do use the Foreo as well, the Foreo cleansing device, and I think that that is fantastic. And once my Clarisonics die, I will just use the Foreo full time. But anyway, these are the deep pore brush heads and I love them and I, oh, I'm i so mad that it went away. Also, Lumify eye drops. These guys, I love these. <laughs> if you've never tried the Lumify eye drops, they are going to brighten the whites of your eyes. It's gonna make you look so much more awake. It, ju it just makes a huge difference. Um, during the spring and early summer, my eyes get really red and irritated from the pollen. I live in the land of trees, and so there's a ton of pollen, and uh, my eyes tend to just be very angry looking this time of year, but this makes all that go away and gives me a more bright-eyed look. And that's everything that I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for being here, sitting through this. Hopefully these little mini reviews were helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. Check out the description box for all the links. I appreciate you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Toodaloo!